I decided to vlog today. First thing I'd like to mention is it's snowing out today. The puppies are out there right now. <laughs> so yeah, it's snowing up here in Minot, North Dakota. I have not seen too much. Oh my god. I would also like to mention what this has been sh being shot on is a brand new camera that Gage has purchased and the quality is greatly increased. This camera is amazing. The Sony A6000. Ready? Go get it. Here's the box, here's the bag he got, here is the, and here's another lens he got too here. Dishes are done in the dishwasher. Uh, hello there guys. I, uh, am installing GTA here. And the guys, me and the boys, uh, me, you know, Gavin, Eli, Cameron, Dominic. Uh, we all play PlayStation once in a while. It's just kind of how we talk, catch up, have a good time on the PlayStation world. And G GTA is something they all have, and I never had GTA 4 for the PS4. I used to have a P PS4 3, but you know. So yeah, got the got it for the PS4. So I'm installing that. Maybe play that. Maybe we can all play that later on. All right, let's talk about the art of meal prepping. So say, you know, I wake up in the morning, I'm having kind of a busier type day, or I'm just feeling simply so too lazy to, you know, cook a meal. Who freaking does that? It's 2017. Who cooks? Or at least who cooks every day? So, meal prepping is you cook it all, and then you stack it away in your Tupperware, and then boom, let's go, let's eat, baby. It's already prepped. So what we got here is a little thing I made. Last night, black bean taquitos. All right, these are actually not bad, and they're you know extremely healthy. I am actually, I'm actually pretty proud of myself. I think I'm actually successfully becoming a lot more healthier. So yeah, these are black bean taquitos. I put a little green onions in them, um, and then you know, I got rice, very whole grain rice, uh, super simple. Very filling, very effective with energy levels. Another thing too, I've been really getting into running. Got some last minute water in me. My stomach is not full at all. I'm on almost on an empty stomach and I think it's like perfect. So you don't throw up and you don't have like cramps and uh, cramps are awful. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. All right, one mile out, 7.53 for that mile. Not gonna lie, three miles, 24 minutes right now. I'm really hurting. God dang it. Ah. Got four miles in 33 minutes. Ah. Well, five miles, five miles and 42 minutes. There's grass right here, let me restart. There's grass in the way. People are gonna think I'm crazy. I'm just not trained. No excuses, no excuses. Running is a mental game. It's all up here. Mental strength to keep going. At your own pace, of course, but to keep going on that pace you want. I was hoping to get maybe like a 8.15 pace for the for the five miles or six miles, but I just didn't hit that objective I wanted to, but I gave it my all. I got to the point, I don't know, there's no excuses, I didn't hit my goal, so it's not work, I didn't work hard enough that run. This is fun for me. I, I love seeing, I love things that you see progress in. I just love it. It's another thing too, I wouldn't pace myself. But in my rule, rule of thumb for running, I just, I can't stop. Like, there's no stopping. So that run, I didn't stop whatsoever. I, got, I went straight on, no stopping. 
I've been trying to go for longer distances, um, and it's a good mentality exercise. So yeah, I've been really getting into that a lot more. And it's simply very healthy for your body, so that's another reason why I do that. And it wakes me up, energizes me too, exercising. My food's done. Yo, I feel so much better about myself when I'm like eating healthier. Delicious. I am still, you know, obviously making videos and I'm about finished with this video right here. Um, video editing and shooting videos, they do consume a lot of time, but the process of doing it, I freaking love it so much. I just wanted to discuss kind of the new things I'm kind of getting into. So yeah, I've been getting into meditation a lot more deeply in a different way. And it's like Zen meditation. Now, seemingly the experience of meditation and sort of some of the other things I do is really hard to structure into words. It's just more about the experience of actually having it that, it, that it's more self-explanatory when you have the actual personal experience in your own personal way. So it's very hard to structure such a vast experience and unique experience of meditation, Zen meditation, and I'll be discussing out-of-body experiences too. So how do I begin? So I had the thinking of going into meditation as I wanted to just try to go into it and practice meditation in order to try to clear the brain and try to make my thinking just more clear. That was my objective of meditation. And I started getting more into spiritual practices a little bit. And see these are things you kind of have to be a little bit courageous to dive into a little bit because it's so controversial. And people just have different viewpoints on these kind of things. It's very controversial to discuss these kind of topics, but these are just some of the things I'm getting into, and I would just like to document it. Please try to ignore my really dirty room. <laughs> I feel like being in the actual place where I practice it will help me better explain it. So I want to make this very quick because I want to talk more about my experience I just had last night, actually. So what I've been getting more into is meditation and trying to focus on the two aspects of our brain and our thinking and our consciousness. And people just don't really try to step outside of their thoughts. And so what meditation practice is, is meditating and trying to let go of every thought that you have, but not just letting go of it, but just kind of stepping back from your thought and just kind of looking at it as it is. And so, in this thinking, you're conscious about your consciousness. And it's a very unique way of thinking like that. And so with this practice, basically, the main outcome that you get from it is you start thinking in a way that you want to think. And when you start to realize that a lot of our thoughts that are popping into our mind are thoughts that we don't actually want to have. I've also been getting into the practice of just focusing on the present now and just being present with the with the now. And that's just kind of trying to focus on not focusing on the future or the past. And those two, the future and the past, ultimately make up your ego. And your ego just heavily focuses on the past or the future. But say there's like a set of stairs and you're just greatly focused on the future, but you're not focusing on the step right now to, in order to get all the way up the stairs. I'm not going to get too deep into this. Do your own research. Look into it a lot more. I want to talk about my experience that I had. So yesterday, I went into deep meditation and I meditated for about an hour. Just focusing on the now and pretty much ultimately letting go of my self-ego. And in order to do that, you have to be perfectly still. And still as in not physically, not only physically still, but emotionally still, every thought not coming into your mind, just still and just being in the now. And then later later last night, I wanted to try and to have an out-of-body experience. And if you, don't know, if you don't know what an out-of-body experience is, you can look into a little bit more. Um, like I said, try to keep an open mind about these things. Um, I was kind of skeptical about all this stuff until I got into it more, and it just kind of really opened my eyes to, I think humans are more capable than what we think we are. I think that we just exist in the physical plane, but doing these kind of practices and everything, you can see in different dimensions and just 
higher conscious thinking just kind of unlock doors into different aspects of this world, which a lot of people don't realize. And if they can't sense it from their, their senses, then they don't think it exists, ultimately. So, I went into trying to have an have a out-of-body experience, and this is kind of like, I've had lucid dreams, but an out-of-body experience is like a whole different thing. Pretty much in an out-of-body experience, you project your consciousness into a different dimension. And I know it sounds crazy, but like I said, just try to keep an open mind. So I went in last night after doing meditation, and before I went to go to bed, I laid down, and I tried to just be perfectly still in my thoughts, my physical movement, my emotions, and then I had some uh, vibrational music in order to try, that helps induce an astral projection. And so I just try to just focus on the now and let go of my self-ego and let go of my thoughts, emotions, everything. And I just focused on the now. And I did this for about like 30 minutes. And then it was, I don't know, it was insane. I can, I, it sounds insane and it's really hard to structure into words. So what I instantly noticed was I started feeling my whole body vibrate a little bit. And... I already knew of this. I knew this was going to happen because this is what people say happens. And I felt my whole body body start to vibrate. And then you know when you have your eyes closed, it's only seemingly kind of like just two dimensions. There's no depth to when you have your eyes closed. Well, my depth turned into a vast depth. Like it was like, it was such a, I, was, I felt like I was in a vast, like I felt like I was in space. I felt like I was in the universe. That's how like everything felt so vast to me. I can't even explain it into words. I felt like I was like in space, floating in space, and I felt like my whole body was spinning. So I already knew this was something like this was going to happen, but it was like blowing my mind at the moment. But the, and the biggest thing about this is you don't want to get too excited, okay? So I was actually doing very good at not getting excited. I was just focusing on the now. Excitement really usually comes in when you're just excited about the future and excited about like what you're about to go in. But since I was so present... You know, I was doing very good at not getting excited because I was so just present in the moment. I wasn't, you know, excited about the future because there was no future. I was in, only in the moment. And so I know at this time, at this vibrational state, the technique is to try to imagine your astral body just pulling out and grabbing onto a rope. And you're just pulling out of your body. And so that's what I started doing. And... I, I did that for a while, um, and I just felt like I was in this vast depth, still floating, and it was, it was, it was insane. It was, it was like one of the most, um, and it was one of the most craziest experiences I've ever had, like, because it just proved to me just the potential our human brain has, and, and then I just got this feeling of excitement coming in, and I, I just, right when I got that feeling of excitement, it just, Boom, I was out of it because I just kind of returned to my, you know, my physical body. But, you know, take it or leave it. Uh, that was my experience. I highly, highly recommend getting into OBEs, you know, lucid dreams. Just kind of, just all this kind of stuff because this is just kind of like not on the surface stuff that a lot of people don't really, a lot of people don't really talk about this kind of stuff really. And it's just, oh, it's just, it's just... It's amazing. It's amazing. See, in our Western culture, I think people look way too much outwards. And I'm starting to realize that it's almost as important, if not more important, to look internally into yourself. And so that was my experience, and it was, it was ultimately, it was amazing.